Hello Sagittarius, let's do your soulmate read. Let's see who is your soulmate, when are they coming for you, how long you need to wait or you've met the one. Let's see the messages for you. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and what does not resonate for my personal reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. By the way, this is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. Welcome back. Now let's see the messages for you. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, and Sagittarius. Let's see the messages. Oh my gosh. Check out my uh, details down below in the description box if you want personal readings or white prayer based spells or energized activated high vibrational pure quality crystals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment in the end. Let's see Sagittarius, what are the messages for you? Oh my gosh, I feel like there has been a sudden breakup or an ending with someone that's causing you a lot of stress. It makes you feel like you have no one uh, in your life, like you are questioning this to the universe. You are in this energy where you are already highly vibrating, where you're doing well, where you're quite excited to explore your inner potential. You're getting that success in your career front. But there has been some disappointment in your love life that has caused you kind of a... It's, it's like somewhere it has affected you, okay? It has caused you mental stress. It's caused you like, why does this happen with me kind of like feeling? I feel like um, with the chariot with the king of cups with the eight of pentacles and with the page of pentacles you guys are making progress in your work maybe there's a lot of hard work but you can work things out i feel like right now sagittarius you can expect a major you know growth or a massive growth in your work like you've had enough of the hard work done and now you can see that results will start to come into your life. But when it comes to your love life, I feel like you have to start afresh. You have to start thinking in a completely new direction because your soulmate is yet to come into your life. For some of you, if you're already married, there might be some issues because of children involved between you and your person or finances involved. But all of this is going to go within a year. But what I can see that you have the power in your hands to turn things around in your power magically. So whatever you set your mind to, like if you're positive, you get positive results. If you're negative, you get negative results. So here I'm definitely seeing that you're a magician these days and you can get whatever you set your mind to. So make sure that you're training yourself to be positive and writing down what you want in your life in positive manner because soon you will get your heart's desire manifested. Some of you, there's a Libra Gemini Aquarius that's coming in. For some of you, there's been a Pisces or there's been some uh, maybe a fire sign that has caused you a lot of like disappointments in love life and this makes you feel so bad because now you started to feel like do I need to trust people do I trust people or are people trustworthy like you're questioning these things because now you're disappointed okay with the hermit and the five of swords you definitely are feeling left out and feeling hurt for no reason you are uh, being uh, treated like that by your person in the past or there's things like that that has been causing you a lot of like disappointments and you're like working on uh, spacing yourself away from people and just healing yourself so right now I feel like whatever you put your mind on to your energy if you like focus all of your energy into that thing you'll see there's a lot of abundance that's coming your way some of you, there's a cancer coming in, but what I can always, what I can see is that you have to make a decision because now life is giving you a new direction to follow, but somewhere you still have your heart on to the past or the disappointments or the negative thinking. That is something that you have to steer clear of. You have to cut off ties with. Once you're done, which I'm feeling like you're done, you're moving towards this new beginning. Work is definitely progressing, but your love life, I feel some amount of efforts will be required from your side. Like maybe you need to start looking around for people, like make new friends, start accepting the dates, uh, taking people out on dates if you're a man watching this. But I'm definitely seeing that you may need to like go out and give some time to your love life. Like I feel like it's just bland these days. So you might need to give this uh, some time to your love life. A Libra might be interested, a Gemini might be interested. But what you can see is your soulmate is going to come. Either your soulmate is a lawyer or I feel like your soulmate will come into your life through uh, family, I feel. 
or by the efforts that you make. So if you don't set your mind to something uh, that you genuinely want, if you're always distracted and you don't have a goal, if you don't write it down, if you don't set your mind in one direction, you might find it difficult to find your soulmate. It may take time. So it depends upon your efforts and the divine timing, but I'm definitely seeing you have a lot of offers coming in, out of which you will decide who you want to go with. But I'm definitely seeing that it depends upon how much efforts, how much uh, importance do you give to your love matters. If you're not going to be giving importance to your love matters in this point of time, you might delay this process of manifesting a soulmate. But if you uh, start off with giving some time out of the whole week to your love matters, I'm definitely seeing there's a lot of growth here. So you have more than one options coming in, but there is a soulmate out of them. See? Your soulmate may have visited your house or you may visit this person's house, but they might be already successful and have a huge house. For some of you, this person is like, yeah, they might be doing some home related work or maybe they're into real estate. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, There's something to do with home, property, building, architecture, law is also what I'm seeing or a home business. But I'm definitely seeing this person so proud of themselves because they have made a name for themselves that's what i can see here the journey so i'm seeing you might meet this person while traveling or you may need to like go out first and travel more because otherwise if you stick to stick, stick to the one place sorry you stick to the one place do the same old thing you might get really tired and affect your health badly so make sure that you're not doing this and you're on the go all the time and you're experimenting with something or the other new in your life okay because i'm definitely seeing if you sit at the same place you're at home a lot of times if you're like working a lot of times you may stress out on the past experiences too much which is unnecessary and miss out on this experience of meeting your soulmate which i'm feeling like 11 is a number for you like maybe 11th of this month may month or 20 is also what I'm seeing, okay? But I'm definitely seeing home space is going to be really important for you. You speak to me through music. I hide behind material things. Hmm. You guys may be like playing some sad music uh, from the past, okay? Maybe you guys used to listen to this any... Uh, like music that you guys both loved listening to when you guys were together. I feel like now you're distracting yourself by putting much of your attention into your work, which is good. There's no harm in it. You'll definitely go uh, a long way in your life when it comes to your career growth. I'm definitely seeing there's a lot of growth. But the problem over here is the people around, not worth your time. Some people are just mind efforts. Some people just want to play with you, mentally affect you, and then leave. But you are taking this energy into yourself. If you can just uh, create an invisible protection shield around you, nothing will affect you. But I'm definitely seeing you're getting easily affected by people saying certain things uh, to you. But it is basically what they say to you is their own insecurity, not yours. So once you realize this, it'll be easier. So what I'm seeing is maybe you have a toxic ex that's not leaving your side. And that is why you're still you know hurting but i'm definitely seeing someone has uh backstabbed and this has caused you trust issues and you feel bad about it maybe they left you for someone else maybe you never knew that this person was dating someone else at your back so you came to know and this hurts you but what you can't see over here is this new love like three of cups is like once you start to socialize and join in with public with people you have your soulmate somewhere around that okay but efforts okay or you might need to date more than one people to have your soulmate come to you the high priestess some of you there's a pisces hiding around and it's going to come out in the open once you you know um go out and start working even more i feel no i what i'm trying to say over here such is that right now you're going to get a major job opportunity or a breakthrough in your career there's a lot of money coming in a lot of abundance coming in you guys are gonna like break the barriers and literally you know uh surpass a lot of people's expectations you might make it big okay but do it secretly 
So I feel like when people are seeing you in this dark energy, in the sad energy or in this gloomy energy, struggling, they would be shocked to know that you've suddenly changed and they never knew that you were changing. So th you might come out with a um, surprise result, like surprise um, uh, news where your money is just definitely on the top. Okay, your money is going to be on the top. But there's some there's some secret work that you do not want to discuss with anyone. You're working on it. Okay, so that mystery is there. And people are like, oh, whatever. The Sagittarius is struggling, struggling. But the truth is you're not struggling anymore. You're working on a serious, uh, I mean, secret mission. You want to achieve something big and you're very close to it. Some of you can expect baby uh, birth. Uh, some of you are, uh, wow, there are some people that you really need to stay away from. Maybe they're into your neighborhood. Maybe there's a person that's doing something on you. You think like this, this you feel like this person is not good for you. Whoever it is, friend, family member, an ex. But yes, people are putting you mental stress unnecessarily and you are absorbing that energy. So if you can confuse people with not knowing what's going on in your life it's gonna you know uh it's gonna make them stop planning against you so you have some people planning against you but they won't be able to do anything to you because you have surpassed that and you are going to shine oh my gosh there's a lot of money i can see luxuries you're you're meant to lead a luxurious life but stop listening to the people around okay that are saying something completely opposite to your heart's desire. So there's a lot of growth coming in. Uh, your relationship with a mom, with a married woman, or with your mother is going to become even more stronger. Your mom is really proud of you and is your better, like uh, is your is your is your, you know, helping is a supporting system. Okay, she will be there by your side. For some of you, you guys are going to become mom or dads real soon i don't know i feel like over here what i can see is cancer from that chariot to empress i'm definitely seeing you becoming that person where you are going to provide jobs and not do the job you're getting my point she will be at a higher scale in the near future like a solid foundation is going to be laid having patience for two years working out for two years straight you will see major success coming into your life. And I'm seeing marriage. Empress card is also about marriage. So I'm definitely seeing within a month's time or within this year, I'm seeing a major marriage happening here. But what I'm seeing is your major focus right now is about setting a solid foundation for yourself. Yeah. Your family is disappointed because of this person leaving you in the past and the unrequited love situation is hurting your family. But very soon, there's a good news coming in. Very soon, you're going to get this good news to your family that, hey, I've met the one and we are getting married. We're getting engaged. See? So this is what is uh, coming up. You love. Make the efforts. Engagement. Okay. You're going to get engaged real soon with this new love. But make the effort. I was telling you from the beginning that there's something that you need to do. Like you need to start off from somewhere. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. That is an extremely important message. Don't take me lightly, guys. I'm getting this as, as a very strong message. I'm, I'm asked to convey this to you really strongly. You guys will get engaged with this person. If you make efforts towards someone coming towards you, you will get engaged with that person. But make sure that you know about this person before you fall in love with them. Sagittarius, I feel like this person will bring a lot of luck and love in your life and a lot of glow in your personality. You guys will be happy like never before. It's not as if you need anyone. 
I feel like it, I'm not trying to say that you will find your happiness when someone comes into your life. It's not like that. You don't need anyone. You have to understand that the glow is inside of you. The happiness is inside of you. What you want is inside of you. It's just that you're going to share that happiness with someone coming into your life. So your person will be really appreciative of you if you're at your best when this person comes into your life. When you're doing your best, when you're already glowing, when your career is glowing, shining. And when that that's when this this a soulmate comes in they'll be really happy to share their life with you and it's going to be a quick uh, transformation right now you might be stressed out so you might need to go out in the nature more or do some meditative exercises and breathe more okay do some breathing exercises more that is something that's really really required here some of you are 29 here some of you are 50s it doesn't matter guys please don't take age too seriously over here because you might be in 50s or 60s but if i'm saying 20 or 30 that means you're still in a youthful energy here or you're going to glow like a teenager so it means that okay i feel like also one more message that i got is that if you do some breathing exercises your skin is going to glow like anything no amount of exercise and nothing else will help that much as much as this meditation exercises. I don't know. This is something that I heard. Be aware of what you're projecting because what you want in your person, what, uh, you know, no, no, no. So uh, what we're just saying is what qualities do you possess is exactly what it will reflect in your partner. So make sure that you're improvising yourself and you don't meet this person when you're doing less in your life. Okay, Meet this person at a point where when you're doing best, when you're at your best, when you're successful. Okay, That will be the best time for you to meet your soulmate. And then I'm having animal garden some of you are in love with animals or you might need to do some extra care or extra efforts you may need to put towards animals like feeding them or just taking special care of them anyone that comes in or just believing in nature in general or you guys may be into veterinary sciences or you guys may be a lot of like animal lovers or stuff like that i feel like this is really uh calming or soothing for you okay so i feel like whenever you feel like it's too heavy when you feel like things are too heavy you can switch to this animals spring again we can see an animal i feel like there's a special link with an animal you don't know or it's just naturally that animals have a special link with you and with them you will grow it will you know, um, help you grow in your field, in your work. Some of you are going to buy a farmhouse or might be like uh, growing plants uh, in your lawn, in your garden, and it's really helpful. You guys will become bosses real soon. So that is something that I already saw here. You guys are about to become boss in your life. Let me just pull out an advice. Then we will be seeing the signs coming in for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Yes. Right now, it's very important to keep your passion and purpose thriving with burning desire. Because as long as you keep that burning desire on, you are about to reach that point of abundance real soon. I feel like trust in yourself. doesn't matter how people are seeing you, how people are treating you, how people are... You know, talking about it doesn't matter. No codependency. Don't show that kind of an attitude. Don't even ask what you need to do or this or that. Yeah, some piece of advice will be really helpful because it's energy is always like uh, energy of exchange is always of about equal give and take. So I feel like right now it's really important for you to follow your heart and follow your passion and purpose in life. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me see the signs that are coming in for you, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, it just came out like anything. We have Cancer, we have Leo, we have Virgo. These are the three signs that you will be coming across most probably. Cancer is something that I'm strongly focused on in this read. 
and other than that leo and Virgo was also visible Virgo also yeah so all the best to you guys sagittarius i wish you the best in finding your soulmate and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment and let me see what all messages do you have for me to read and yeah i'll see you again bye